Looking around the nation, the Boston Marathon is the latest sporting event postponed due to the coronavirus outbreak. The Boston Athletic Association says the decision was made after talking to city and state leaders about the best ways to curb the spread of COVID-19. The event has been moved from April 20th to September 14th. New York's coronavirus hotspot is now making drive through testing available. People are driving up in cars to a mobile coronavirus testing site at the new Rochelle Park to get swabbed. Governor Andrew Cuomo designated the area as a containment zone, which extends a mile in all directions from a synagogue connected to some of those cases. Residents are praising the New York governor for his quick response to this outbreak. Senator Ted Cruz is extending his self-imposed quarantine after learning he came into contact with a second person who tested positive for coronavirus. He announced his initial quarantine Sunday after learning he had been in contact with an individual at the CPAC conference who tested positive. Cruz learned that a Spanish party leader he met on March 3rd recently tested positive as well. The two men took pictures together and shook hands twice. Cruz said out of an abundance of caution, he is extending his self-quarantine until Tuesday. Taking a look around the world tonight, the European Union Commission announced Friday a $41.1 billion stimulus to support sectors affected by coronavirus. The president of the European Union Commission said the EU will offer member states maximum flexibility to boost spending and subsidies in order to help fight the disease. The stimulus money will support the health care and labor sectors, as well as small and medium enterprises affected by the pandemic. The United Kingdom is delaying local elections for a year. This initiative is part of an escalated response to delay the spread of coronavirus in the country. A spokesperson said the cabinet will bring forward legislation to facilitate this delay, which affects mayor, police and crime commissioner elections. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez declared a state of emergency for a period of 15 days in an attempt to stop the spread of coronavirus in the country. Sanchez announced the measure to protect the country's most vulnerable and noted that all available resources will be used to tackle the, quote, extraordinary crisis. The minister says there could be over 10,000 cases of coronavirus in Spain in the coming weeks. A quick check of consumer news now with concerns over coronavirus leading to event cancellations nationwide. As we have been telling you, couples planning weddings are facing tough choices on what to do about their big day. Wedding planners are working to ease client stress and say they are renewing postponement and cancellation policies for all their vendors. Dresses are also a problem right now with many of them manufactured in China. Cities and communities nationwide have canceled large events and are actively discouraging large gatherings of people to help curb the spread of coronavirus. Well, many Americans are expressing greater concern about what the coronavirus may mean for their financial well-being rather than their health. This according to a recent USA Today poll. Analysts found nearly 50 percent of those surveyed said COVID-19 posed a high-level threat to the stock market and the global economy. Just 15 percent, however, said it was a big threat to them personally. Poll officials are calling the virus a fast-moving event. They say Americans are still learning what it will mean for their lives going forward. Well, still ahead tonight, we show you an act of kindness that's making the rounds on social media. That and a final check of the weather after this.